Warning, this video does contain constant stuttering, so viewer discretion is advised. Before the video starts, I want to give a quick shout out to the Instagram page Truth of Him for being a source of several of my videos. And as always, subtitles are available and well, you know the rest. Thanks for listening and enjoy this video. Me? You think this is funny? In a cosmic sort of way, yes. Well, Mr. Funny Man, is this how you get your sick kicks? What? It's just an ordinary crabby- OH MY GOODNESS! SQUIDWARD! Okay, this might be an unpopular opinion, but... Can we just normalize photos of Michael Jackson in which he doesn't look his best? Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no, man. What the fuck, man? Whenever I see news articles about Michael Jackson from magazines or websites, they always use the same 10 pictures, many of them which consists of flash lighting or bad angles trying to depict him in a negative light. The media has always played a significant role in this, and in Michael's case, the media often chose the most unflattering images, sometimes edited to perpetuate a narrative that he was abnormal. A notable example is Michael Jackson's infamous 2003 mugshot, which was taken after he was charged for false accusations involving children. The harsh lighting and unflattering angle of the photo did not ju do justice to his appearance, but some fans argue that the media further edited this image to make him look worse. This claim is supported by discussions on platforms like Reddit and Instagram where fans share images of Jackson leaving the sheriff's department that day, showing, showing him in a more favorable light. They argue that the mugshot photo was not representative of Jackson's usual appearance and that the media focus on it was unfair and dehumanizing. Some fans go as far as to claim that the media edited photos of Jackson to fit a sensationalist narrative, but, so, uh, but unfortunately some fans will take the liberties of sharing photoshopped versions of his mugshot and trying to pass it off as real. Um, I remember during, um, during quarantine in 2020, the MJ community was divided on these two images, the infamous mugshot and and what some members of the MJ community were claiming to be the real mugshot. <sighs> I swear, some fans are getting more delusional by the minute. Obviously, the photo on the right is the edited, edited one. They just took a picture of Michael Jackson from the 2003 BET Awards and edited his face into the mugshot. And to this day, there are Instagram pages uploading the edited version and passing it off as the real Michael Jackson mugshot. Another photo that the MJ community claims to be fake is the photo taken of Michael during his appearance in court for a civil lawsuit in 2002, not to be mistaken with the 2005 trial. Now, the photos that the fans claim to be fake are the ones taken on November 13, 2002, which shows him with a bandage on his nose and a beard. This photo has probably been used in almost every single tabloid about Michael Jackson in the early 2000s. It was widely reported in the media that his nose was apparently falling apart and other absurd things, but closer images c clearly show that it's medical type tape on his nose blended with makeup. He could be seen earlier that day with a face mask and when he was called to testify, the judge probably told Michael to take off the mask. Considering how sensitive he was being depicted in the media all the time, it's very understandable why he didn't want the world speculating on it. Because here we are, over 20 years later, still talking about the infamous photo. Now, in the pictures that were taken the next day, you can see that Michael's bandage is off and his facial hair is shaved a bit. So, to confirm, this photo is unedited, but widely overused. Another photo that has been used a lot is the image from the 2003 Radio Music Awards. This particular photo of Michael Jackson has been engraved in meme culture, as the photo can be seen in every Facebook-like meme mocking Michael Jackson and his signature ad-libs. 
but similar to his mugshot, the flash lighting was overused, making him look pale to the skin. One thing people overlook about this photo is his clothing. Notice that he is wearing an all black outfit. Obviously, it's going to have a very dramatic contrasting effect to his pale skin. And due to his melanin, melanin loss from vitiligo, black colors make white or pale colors stand out even more than normal. And unfortunately, it's only adding to the striking appearance of Michael Jackson. Honestly, I don't see what's wrong with this photo apart from the flashlighting. It's just so overused in both the media and meme culture alike. To many, Michael Jackson is one of the most photographed people in the entire world, yet news outlets always use the same 4 or 5 pictures of Michael. And it sucks that people generalize his later appearances by a few unflattering photos, which has become a template of what people believe Michael looked like throughout the, throughout the 2000s. You see, this is what he gener generally looked like most of the time. And apart from his mugshot and other unflattering photos, as you can see, he looks absolutely stunning, especially in his appearance in the 2006 Music World Music Awards, as, as well as his final photo shoots with Ebony and Vogue in 2007. Unfortunately, many people don't know this because they've been duped into believing he quote-unquote let himself go and quote-unquote ruined his face. Despite having considerable plastic surgery, he remained very attractive both as a person and appearance-wise. Pause. Michael Jackson is a prime example of what happens when people sens sensationalize a celebrity's appearance. It denormalizes things that makes us completely human and normalizes judgmental takes on a person's appearance disguised as concern. The number of surgeries Michael had is nobody's business but his own. Nobody, nobody needs to justify why they decide to go through with plastic surgery and it's a shame that Michael had to explain himself so many times. Which begs the question, why do we, his fans, always avoid using these images? Why do so many fans have such a hard time accepting the reality of Michael's life? Why do we try to change these pictures and claim they are photoshopped when they really aren't? And has the press or even the public succeeded in making us believe he looked scary or unsettling? Michael Jackson was and still is a human being like any of us and he cannot look his best all the time 24-7. He had bad pictures because of bad angles and bad lighting. People often treat a celebrity's appearance like it's a matter of utmost importance. Whether they undergo cosmetic surgery, gain or lose weight, become pregnant, or change their hairstyle, the paparazzi always notices and turns it into news, even when no one really cares. In the 90s and 2000s, celebrities, especially, especially women, were treated even worse when, than they are now. Fat phobia was rampant in much of the media from that era, and women of healthy weight were frequently criticized for being quote-unquote fat. Later, the same individuals were chastised for, de for developing eating disorders, as if the critics weren't the ones who caused the issues in the first place. This message is directly to the fans in the MJ community. Don't let the media brainwash you without you realizing it. It is important for fans to resist the media's attempts to brainwash them and to accept Michael Jackson as a human being with imperfections like anyone else. Sharing unedited photos from all eras of his life helps normalize his appearance and combat the harmful effects of sensationalism. And please don't photoshop any of his images as it perpetuates the same misleading practices used by the press. Fans may have good intentions with these edits, but they are unnecessary and potentially harmful. By embracing Jackson's true image, we can honor his legacy and humanity rather than reducing him to a mannequin-like figure. Well, that's the end of today's video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I've been wanting to make a video like this for a while now, but couldn't find the motivation to do so. If you would like a shout out at the end of every video essay, be sure to let me know your thoughts on the video in the comment section below and recommend topics of what I should talk about in my next video. Be sure to subscribe and ring the bell icon so you won't miss my latest videos. Thanks for watching and I will see you all in the next one.